Welcome to another Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to be looking at the acronym ASTC, which is used for determining if a trig function is positive or negative in a particular quadrant. And so the saying I like to use for this acronym, I've heard lots of different ones, but I typically say all students take classes. And so we work this acronym starting in quadrant one. So A belongs to quadrant one, like this. S belongs to quadrant two. T belongs to quadrant three. And C belongs to quadrant four. And so we'll break this down in a little more detail on the next slide. So let's look at this acronym in a little bit more detail. We know we said A belongs to the first quadrant, S to the second, T to the third, and C to the fourth. And this is telling us which trig functions are positive in particular quadrants. So in the first, we have all will be positive. In the second, sine and its reciprocal cosecant will be positive. In the third, we have tangent and its reciprocal cotangent that are positive. And in the fourth, we have cosine and its reciprocal secant, which are positive. So let's dig in and see why that's true. Okay, so we have our axes. Here's the y-axis, here's the x-axis. Our unit circle will be centered on the origin. So we have y and x. And let's sketch in just some sample triangles for each quadrant. So we have a quick one in quadrant one, a right triangle, in quadrant two, in quadrant three, and in quadrant four. Okay, we have our right triangles here, just quick sketches. And we're looking at these central angles. So for each of these, we'd be looking at our angle theta. And so from there, you could label opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse, and you could do that, of course, for each of them. just like this. Okay. So when finding exact values, for example, it's very helpful to know which trig functions are going to be positive in which particular quadrants. And we can do this simply by our knowledge of the coordinates in each quadrant and their values. Are they positive or negative? So let's look at our point here. We'll call it x, y assuming both are positive. And we know that no matter how we have our triangle drawn, no matter which angle we're looking at in the first quadrant, both the X and the Y are going to be positive. So no matter how you calculate, um, whether you're finding the opposite over hypotenuse, adjacent over hypotenuse, opposite over adjacent, any reciprocal, you will have a positive value when you evaluate. Let's look at the quadrant two triangle. So we know working from the origin, you have to move left and up to get to your point. So we know that we must have negative x, positive y. So negative, positive. And that means that our adjacent side is going to be negative. So any trig ratio that has the adjacent side will be negative. And thus the only positive one is the sine and its reciprocal cosecant which does not include that adjacent side. It's the opposite over hypotenuse. So we're looking right here. And that's why we use the S in quadrant two, because sine and cosecant are positive. Okay, so you probably can follow that logic for quadrant three. Both the adjacent and the opposite are moving in negative directions. We move left and down. So any of the trig ratios that have either the opposite or adjacent will be negative unless we have both the opposite and the adjacent, so that falls to tangent and cotangent. Then two negatives being divided make a positive, and that's why tangent and cotangent are positive in the third quadrant. So we have our point negative x, negative y, or negative, negative. And finally, in the fourth quadrant, we know that we move in the positive direction for x, 
the negative for y. And so any trig ratio that involves the y value, which of course is the opposite, is going to be negative. So that's the sine and tangent and their reciprocals. But the cosine and the secant are going to be positive because they only rely on the adjacent and the hypotenuse, hypotenuse sides for the ratio. So positive, negative. So this will quickly tell you, the ASTC will quickly tell you which trig functions, which of the basic trig functions and their reciprocals are going to be positive in a particular quadrant. Hopefully this helps you understand that acronym ASTC a little bit better. Um, I'll post some videos later for finding exact values where um, I'll make use of this um, for each exact value that we find. Um, so be sure to check that out later. Um, I'll post some links in the video description for more videos on surviving the unit circle. Thanks so much for watching.